Credo Beauty is having their annual summer sale and if you're like me and Credo Beauty is your weakness, you love going on there and discovering all these new products and brands, but also it can be slightly overwhelming to you with what products are good. You don't want to really like waste your money or have to deal with returns or anything. I decided to put together just all of my absolute favorites that you can purchase from this sale that I think are totally worth the money and that you'll be really just happy with when you receive them. So I love that Credo carries like skincare, hair care, fragrance, basically like anything you need in the beauty realm. So honestly, too many stuff to mention, but I picked out some of my favorite skincare favorites to share with you, starting with some sunscreen, which are extra important this time of year. Two of these that I think are absolutely fabulous. First, starting with the Kinship Self Reflect. They have the rose one, they have this one. This is also more affordable, especially with the 20% off. This is such a great sunscreen. It has like um, pigment in it, like it has mica to like give you a glow, but it's not like greasy feeling, which is my favorite thing about it is that it gives you a glow but it's a pretty satin matte sunscreen so instead of making you dewy it just makes you glowy but it's like really long wearing and like it just looks and feels beautiful on the skin such a gem i don't want to talk too long about each product so these will be pretty quick but hopefully you still get the info you need next is a tinted sunscreen if you wanted a tinted version the iris and romeo best skin days this is an, this is an spf 30 this is spf 32 by the way these are both mineral this I did not think I was gonna like. It's sort of this jar of like tinted product. The shade works really well for me, by the way. It's the shade one. They do have multiple shades. This is like the most sort of like long wearing, non too dewy formula of a tinted sunscreen that I've tried. There's lots of tinted sunscreens, but they all seem to be pretty dewy, like the Say Beauty one, the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen. So this one has more of a satin finish and it has the perfect level of pigment, like it's not too much. It just evens out your skin tone and applies it beautifully with your fingers. It doesn't take too much to sort of work it into your skin. The pigment is really even and it's just so beautiful. It was such a surprise hit for me and I think it's totally worth it. I also really love this Pie Skin care the impossible glow sort of mix-in product this has hyaluronic acid and sea kelp so this is the bronzing drops they also have this little champagne version which i like as well well that's just like a mini size i do have a full size this one is nice if you want to add some bronziness since this is water-based you want to make sure you use this with a water-based moisturizer or else it can pill but when i mix this with just my usual water-based moisturizers it's so pretty it like looks slightly orange in the bottle but once it's mixed in to like a moisturizer onto the skin depending on how many drops you do it just gives you a really pretty glow for under makeup or on its own and you can sort of like blend it down your chest and everything just makes you look super glowy and bronze but i love that it's really good for your skin as well pie skincare in general you really can't go wrong with your products especially if you have sensitive skin they make some beautiful skincare next is like my secret weapon for blemishes i've been using this for years and years and years this is the Audacite Pure Elements Black Human and KG Put Serum Concentrate. They have a lot of different versions of this. I hope this is on Creo. I tried to check most of these products. I did forget to check this one, but hopefully it is. This, I know it looks super tiny. It is a very tiny little bottle, so it's for pimples. If you get cystic acne or like just pimples that tend to be under the skin, this will speed up like them coming to the surface and healing by like I swear like 10 times. So I have a couple spots here if you saw in my couple previous videos. They were like under the skin and now they're basically already out as real pimples and they're like basically completely shrunk. Meaning in the next couple days they're going to be gone. Like if you have anything under the skin that you just need to like take care of immediately. This is so so good for blemishes. For like cystic blemishes anything you just need to get rid of quick this is beautiful and then lastly for my hair favorite i will mention some other brands i really like evolve and inner sense for hair care really any of their products i've tried most of them and love them but this specifically i tried recently it was like a sample from credo and i really really love this this is from a brand that i hadn't tried before which is ceremonia this is their deep hydration cream guava leave-in conditioner so this does have a scent to it. It's guava, obviously. I don't know what guava really smells like. It doesn't really smell like, like that fruity to me. It's definitely a little fruity, but it kind of just smells like, it's really hard to describe, like sort of vanilla-y, I guess. 
but I've been absolutely loving this. I have in my hair today. I use this after I use my mousse. And you can use a lot of this and it does not weigh my hair down at all and it also doesn't like feel like anything even when you use like quite a lot of it but it's really moisturizing and smoothing and just makes my hair so much more manageable i'm usually sensitive to fragrances but this one is really nice and light like it does make your hair smell good but it doesn't linger too heavily for primers of course i had to mention my rms beauty re-evolve radiance locking primer this is hydrating, it's beautiful, it's supple, it's glowy. It's just like the perfect hydrating primer in my opinion if you wanted to pick it up. If you don't wanna pick it up in this sale, I do have an RMS Beauty code for 20% off. If you happen to miss the sale or maybe just don't wanna pick it up that time, keep that in mind, but I still wanted to mention it if you're gonna place an order and maybe you wanted to try that. Moving on to foundations, I have four here that I think are worth the buy. I'm going to start off with my favorite, which is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. I have this on today. It's so beautiful. I mean, you probably heard me talk about this before, so I don't want to go too much into it, but it just wears really well on me. I love the medium coverage. It's glowy. It has skincare benefits and it has SPF 25. So I think that one is definitely worth it. If you have combo skin like me, I think it's really beautiful. If you have very oily skin, it might not be the best for you, but honestly, like I feel like it would work for almost any skin type. It's super versatile. And then one that's a bit more glowy, but still has like medium coverage. This I don't use a ton or talk about a ton because this isn't my shade, so I don't get to use it a lot, but I do really enjoy the formula. This is from LYS. This is the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This also has really nice skincare based ingredients. It is a serum foundation, so it's nice and thin. Both this and the Kosas one, the Kosas is definitely like a bit of a thicker formula, but if you use a sponge or your fingers, it's still beautiful. This one is thinner, still gives you a really good amount of coverage. And in the clean beauty space, this is like one of the most similar to high-end types of formulas and they have a really good shade range as well. And then a foundation that I just recently retried, if you watched my Exit Beauty Redemption video, the Exit Beauty High Fidelity Foundation. This is another like serum-y consistency, like it's quite thin. This one can be slightly too dewy for me, so if you have more dry skin, I think you might like this one a little bit better maybe than the other two that I mentioned, but I think both those are versatile. This one can just slightly sit heavy on my skin, but I have found some workarounds with it and I do like it. I think it's a really solid foundation. Is it my absolute favorite? No, but I still think it's worth it, especially if you have a different skin type to me, like you're a little bit drier. I think you would probably really enjoy that one. And then for all my Potter foundation people out there, of course, I got to mention Alima Pure. They're just such a classic in my opinion. The loose foundation is great. The pressed one's just as great. I use Olive Zero, which is more of like a warm olive shade. I kind of wish it was like a true olive, but it's definitely my best match from them. They have a bunch of different shades of these. It's so gentle on the skin. It kind of gets better the more you wear it, like the longer you wear it, it melts into your skin and looks beautiful. It feels really weightless too in terms of powder foundations. I also have some really cool cheek products that I want to mention that usually aren't on sale so make sure you stay tuned for those but let's move on to concealer I actually don't have any concealers pulled out here because my favorites really aren't on Credo Beauty the Kosas one is good if you have dry skin but I think we're just gonna skip that because I just don't really have a ton of favorites I do have one of my wish list though, so stay tuned for that as well. I will be talking about my wish list at the end of this video. Let's hop into cheek products. The powder that I want to mention is the Han Cosmetics Powder Bronzers. I have Ibiza here, but Malibu is my favorite. It's a really nice neutral brown. If you have fair skin like me, it's such a beautiful shade. It's quite sheer in its pigmentation, which is great because it just layer so well and it never looks too heavy or bronzer like and these are affordable to begin with basically so with a 20 percent off they're a really great price and then i have lots of creams here to mention uh, another bronzer this is like a classic the tower 28 bronzino they also come out with the sculptinos but the shades didn't look great to me which are like their contour products this one is the shade Gold Coast, which is actually quite yellow, but if you have olive skin, this is a really flattering bronzer shade. These do have shimmer in them, by the way, so if you like a glowy cream, I think you would definitely like these. If you don't like something shimmery, they might not be your favorite. They're slightly like waxier formula, like they don't really completely set down, but I think they're really beautiful. And then also Tower 28, they have their blushes. This one is Happy Hour, which is a bright pink 
One of my favorites, another classic, totally worth mentioning if you like cream blushes. They give you that really juicy cheek look. They're really pigmented, easy to work with, just like everything you would want in creams. And then I also really wanted to mention the Ritual de Fee. I think this is on Credo. I know that their regular creams are. I think this one might be as well. These are the Bee Sting Color. This is the Bee Sting Color Nectar Pigment Balm. So these are tinier than like their original creams, which are this size. But this is so pretty and dewy and gives you like the prettiest flush of color, especially this shade Bee Sting. It just perfect it's again more of like a waxy formula but i find that it's not like too sticky and it just looks so pretty and juicy on the cheeks did i say that already i might have it's just really pretty okay now to the luxury cheek products that i had to mention because they're not usually on sale when sites have sales i feel like a lot of luxury brands are usually excluded but i added one of these to my car on credo and it gave me the discount so it's a really great time if you wanted to invest in these and you've been eyeing them. First, the brand is Westman Atelier and this is the blush stick. I love this one in Coquette. It's this really pretty neutral baby pink. I do have a swatch of this in my blush video. And then if you also wanted to try their highlighters, I really love these. I have three of these. I'm not a huge cream highlight person, but I actually, like if I'm gonna wear one, it's gonna be one of these. So I actually used this shade as a bronzer. I feel like I gotta do some swatches of these. This one is the Highlight Stick in Brulee. Really beautiful bronzer if you have fair skin or beautiful highlight if you have medium to deep skin. And then we have Nectar, which is sort of this like rose gold pink. This packaging is like unbelievably gorgeous. This is definitely more sheer base to it. It has more of like a rose gold finish. And then this last one is my favorite, which is the little highlight stick i think the shade of this one is lit so this is like a clear base you've probably seen me wear this and talk about this before but it has like a purpley blue shift so if you have fair cool undertones or like neutral cool undertones i think you're really gonna like this one that i like there's also some nice warmer shades the formulas are definitely like on the oilier side but i find that they actually last pretty well they're so like ethereal looking on the skin like they just look like you're glowing inside out super luxury products of course but if you did want to try them out it's a great time to grab them during the sale and then i also wanted to give a mention to the ritual de fee creams if you like more of like a matte cream that are like a bit stiffer to work with but once you get sort of like your finger in there and warm them up they're very workable this one's the shade lust which is actually like a quite dark purpley shade i've kind of used as like a blush contour it's really interesting they have such interesting shades if you're really into like some interesting i keep saying interesting some like odd shades i don't want to call them odd they're just really unique and i really do like these formulas for brows you totally can't go wrong with the costas brow pop line both the brow pop liner and i like the clear gel just because i don't usually like tinted brow gels but these are great pretty basic you've probably heard me talk about them before so i'm not gonna say much more onto eyeshadows i had to mention the rms eye lights again you can still get these with my discount code or get them during the sale whatever you prefer these are creams and they're really pigmented and metallic and i really like these two shades i have strobe and blaze when i first tried these i wasn't really into cool tones yet but now that i am love these two shades they're creamy and easy to work with and they do last all day. They don't really crease or like transfer or flake or anything. I do find that if your eyes water, it kind of wears off, but that's, you know, I guess would happen with mostly any eyeshadow. So they're not like waterproof, but they do stay for a really long time and they're very richly pigmented. I will swatch one because these are so pretty. These are the perfect like one and done shadows and they sort of dry down to basically a powder finish. So as you can tell, they're not like super glittery or anything, but they give you that really pretty reflect and just all over the lid, pretty great like vacation products too. Another beautiful eyeshadow cream. This one's a bit more dewy, so it's not as long lasting as the RMS, but if you want some really pretty reflective, like that glowy, glossy, ethereal eye, the Ritual de Fee Eye Soots. So they have these in different packaging now so you can actually sort of like get a brush in there this one is insane this is cygnus it's like a red with a blue reflect if you haven't seen my full face of ritual day feet i wore this and it's incredible on the eyes it's just 
one of the most unique little eyeshadow products that I have. Again, not long wearing. It does like crease because it's so glowy, but it's really pretty unique. And then maybe if you're just looking for like a good neutral, simple eyeshadow palette, this one's not super neutral, but kind of is to me. This is the PYT Beauty, the Upcycle Shadow Palette. Again, more affordable to begin with, so extra affordable during the sale. So this has 12 shades. This is Party in the Nude, which I love because it has some like neutrals, but it also has some fun shades. When you swatch these, they're sort of like unimpressive, like they're not very pigmented, but I find especially if you have fair skin, they work really well. And because they're like colorful, I find that sheer colorful eyeshadows are actually easy to work with because you can sort of like build them up in a way that you want to and you're not suddenly hit with so much pigment. So I am wearing this on my eyes today. So I'm wearing the purple, I'm wearing this pink, this pink, and this sort of neutral taupe. And then I also topped it with this shade. So like I mentioned, they're not super pigmented. Don't expect that from this palette. And then also these glitter shades are more of a sheer topper as well. I have this one on my lid, like I mentioned. Make sure to use like a base if you kind of want these to stick because they can have a little bit of fallout. But for the price, I think they're a really solid palette. And I especially love this colorway if you sort of like pinky purple neutrals like I do. Moving on to lips, I could go crazy on the Credo Beauty lip section, but I narrowed it down to my favorites. First for lip liner, the Kier Weiss lip liner, another luxury brand that is also included in the sale that is not usually included in most sales. So this is their lip pencil. This one's the shade Rose. These are super creamy. Don't expect them to be very long lasting, but I love how creamy and pigmented they are. And this shade Rose is so pretty if you're like me and you need like a really cool type of undertone to for it to look natural on you. It's beautiful, again, super creamy and pigmented, not super long wearing, but they are very pretty nonetheless. And if you wanted like a two-in-one product that's really good to throw in your bag, the PYT Lip Duos are really great. And again, more affordable, extra affordable with the sale. This is the shade, let's see, Icon, which again, if you're like me and you need a nice neutral cool lip, when it's kind of really hard to find like neutral or cooler toned lips in today's lip product environment. A lot of them are so warm. This one is super pretty. So here's the lipstick over here, which is slightly darker than the gloss. So you can use either or or layer them. And then this is the gloss. I know some of you picked this up on my recommendation and really liked it and said it's one of your favorites now. So I do really recommend this if you like cool tone lipsticks, maybe have a hard time finding one want something more affordable and you get a lipstick and gloss in one which is super cool to just throw in your bag have on the go and then another lipstick formula the Kier Weiss lipsticks these are very luxurious again but on sale but on sale at least you're saving a little bit of money i love the smell of Kier Weiss products i feel like it's a like love hate thing like a lot of you hate the smell of them i personally love it it kind of smells like really sweet citrusy crayons almost i like it but anyway <laughs> so this is their lipstick formula their lipsticks are so pigmented they're so luxurious looking and feeling you get the little tubes and they're refillable this one fearless is like the perfect cool toned red it's almost like a raspberry shade look at the pigment it also has shimmer in it which i think is really unique for like a red it is so pretty. If you wanted a red shade, really recommend this one. But they also have so many other shades. They have a nude collection, which is on my wish list I will be talking about. But yeah, those are gorgeous. And then for glosses, I think the Tower 28 glosses are great. These are more of a sheer wash of color and they don't last a really long time because they're more of that like oily, very balmy consistency, but they don't feel like gloss at all. So if you like that, I think you'll love these if you haven't tried them already. Worth a mention. Ooh, I almost forgot this one, the Juice Beauty Liquid Lips. These, I talk about this one a lot actually. You hear liquid lip and you think it's gonna be like full pigment and matte, but it's actually like a like very moisturizing, shiny formula liquid lip. I don't know, something about these, it's so pretty, like the level of pigment that it has, but it's still shiny, but it's not like a gloss, like it's sort of in between. This is the shade Blythe which is the perfect like purpley pink. Absolutely love this shade. I love how it looks. It doesn't like last a super long time, but 
I still really love it. And then if you just wanted a simple gloss, maybe you didn't want to purchase the two-in-one from PYT. They do also sell individual glosses that they hopefully have on Credo. This is another one I forgot to check, but this is the Doomy Lip Gloss in Spirited, which is another pretty pink shade. Let me swatch it next to the other ones. So there it is. It's actually very similar to this lipstick. Like this gloss is lighter. And you could tell it's a little bit glossier than this other formula that they have in the two-in-one. These are really fruity. If you don't like a super like fruity scent or taste your lip gloss, I would avoid this because it is pretty like strong. I personally don't mind it. Like it doesn't make my mouth taste weird or anything. So it's a really great, like pretty pigmented gloss. Like it has some good pigment to it. It's not like super sheer. I also want to give a quick mention to Ellis Brooklyn fragrances. I have a couple of them. This one I think they still have. This was like a summer release a couple years ago. I love this for summer. It smells so good. It actually like evokes memories of the summer that I bought it because I wore it all the time. I also have some samples. I have the Aprez one, which is not my favorite. And then I also have the Florist, which is really nice. And then I also have a body spray, which is on my wish list, which we will talk about now. So don't go anywhere yet. Let me go ahead and pull my card up, which is very full. So let me quickly run through what I have my eye on. There's 13 things here. First is the Cure Weiss Invisible Touch Liquid Foundation. I talk about this all the time, but I love this foundation. I just don't have it in my shade. So I've just been wanting to get it and it is $38 with the discount. I also have the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in my car in Choo Choo, the pale pink shade. These look so pretty. I've always wanted to try them. I really like the idea of like a tinted balm that I could just bring with me. If you tried those, let me know what you think of them. I also have the Han Bronzer in Malibu because like I mentioned, I do have the Ibiza shade, but I love the Malibu one. So I thought I might purchase that one. It's $14 with a discount. I also have the EXA Color Corrector in green in my cart. So I tried the pink one, which isn't my absolute favorite for under the eyes, but I like it on my face. So I'm like, maybe I will like the green one to sort of like maybe mix in with foundations or just to use to correct redness. And then, oh, this looks so good. The Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin SPF 50 in Vitamin C Plus Glow Sunscreen. So I mentioned that sunscreen in the beginning from Iris and Romeo. So I was like, if I like their tinted version, I might really like the like glowy version. It looks so pretty and luminous. And then like I mentioned, the Ellis Brooklyn, they have body mist this summer, which I really like the idea because I'm not a huge fan of super strong fragrances to begin with. So I like the idea of a body mist. They have a sand one, which I think is probably pretty summery. Oh, another product from Iris and Romeo. They came out with a concealer. I'm very intrigued by this brand because like I mentioned, I love that sunscreen. And they have this treatment concealer and I'm like, hmm, that might be worth trying out. And then I also added the Tower 28 Daily Berry Recovery Cream into my cart. This is new from Tower 28. So I love their SOS spray, which is so great for sensitive, like reactive skin. So the fact that they have a cream for it now it definitely piqued my interest. And then I have a Cure West lipstick in my cart. I want to get a nude shade though, because I only have that red one. And I really want a nude that I could sort of use every day. I also really want to try the Kosas lipsticks, the Nourishing Satin lipsticks, which they sort of just launched. I'm not sure what shade to get. I have the Fantasy Life Neutral Baby Pink in my cart. A lot of them are pretty warm, so I'm kind of scared about the shade, but I feel like that might be the best bet. And I also have the Kier Weiss Lip Pencil in the shade Taupe, because like I said, I do really like those. I don't really need that, it's sort of just like a want. And then I've been wanting to try this. I just haven't gotten a chance to get it yet. The Ritual Day Fee Weightless Serum Foundation. Let me know if you want a review on that. I'm kind of scared because it's like mostly oil based and I don't usually do too great with those, but I'm definitely curious. And then the Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick. I've always wanted to try their contour stick, the shade Biscuit. It looks perfect. And again, it's on sale actually on Credo. It's not excluded or anything. So I feel like that's a really good time to try like any luxury beauty that you want. Anyway, those were all of my like short list of favorites. There's so many more products that I feel like I have my eye on, but I tried to narrow it down a little bit. I'd love to know if you have your eye on anything specific from Credo Beauty. Maybe if you plan on shopping the sale or not, I will, what the heck happened to my hair? 
I will go ahead and link all of these products below by the way. This sale ends pretty soon. I will put the dates below. So if you did want anything, it's always good to shop early in case anything sells out as well. So links will be below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming content from me. Maybe just in case it doesn't show up on your YouTube feed, if you get notifications, you will be notified when I post a new video. So click that bell and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.